I found a cookbook written by a cannibal. This is the cannibal cookbook. A serial killer cannibal vampire wrote this, like a legit guy, he went to prison and everything. And this is his recipe book. This is a legit book that tells you where to get the meat, how to cut the meat, how to cook the meat, and what it tastes like. Am I a cannibal? No, but I will be trying cannibal recipes today. The book says it's a common belief that human meat tastes like pork. Although I'm not gonna be using human meat today, I will be using pork. So let's get cooking. Dennis Nelson's baking cheese dip. Dennis Nelson killed 15 men and he ate some of them. He would get young men very intoxicated and then he would take them back to his house. And once they were completely drunk, he would strangle them. And then for weeks on end, he would keep them in his bed with him and shower with them and sit them up at the table, talk to them, make them dinner. He acted as if they were still alive. And he killed these men because he didn't want to be alone. On a weekend, I would sort of pull out the floorboards. And I find it totally unpleasant and get blinding drunk so I could face it and start this section. Yeah on the kitchen floor, mm -hmm. hold the body out on the floorboards, put it on the sheet, and then cut it up. And this is his cheese dip recipe. He used human skin in this recipe. I don't have human skin, so I'll be using bacon. Eight ounces of back skin. Got it. I want that back skin. Yeah, daddy, yeah. Oh, baby, give me that back skin. I'll be honest with you, I am no chef, but I am a bad bitch, so. I can do anything. Well, well, we're making half the recipe. Thank you. All right. Place the slice of back meat into a large skillet. Then I cook over medium heat until it's brown. Small bowl, mix the cream cheese with the mayonnaise until it's smooth. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> this looks like the foulest thing I've ever made in my life. Feral. Ew, flipping it with the cream cheese spatula. I do what I want. Get in that bowl, baby. He literally put no seasonings in this and nothing about this looks good. Here's the skin. Oh God, I'm just imagining this being human skin and it's really not cute. Oh yeah. Pray. The dip is made and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. I'm really interested. Like, is this actually going to taste good? Cause it, it, it looks pretty good. I'm a little shocked. Going back for seconds. This is good. And I don't know whether to be like disgusted with that or excited because I have a new recipe. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm cooking peanut. I can't say that on YouTube, so I'm gonna say pecker. <laughs> Wait, whose? <laughs> Yours. Mine? Your pecker. Armin Muse German sausage. <laughs> Unskinned pecker. My name, Armin Mildes. I killed a man, flogged at him and ate him. Since then, he is always with me. In 2000, Armin posted an ad on an internet chat room titled Dinner or Your Dinner. He made contact with a man named Burned Brandons, and this guy offered himself to be eaten by Armin. So they met up and they agreed that they would cut his pecker off. And then they cooked it up on a pan and they split it together and they both ate a little bit of it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Who would agree to this? No, these are some people's kinky fantasies. Did he get V-Bucks in exchange for that at least? God damn. No, he died. No V-Bucks? Burn started to bleed out and basically he would fade in and out of consciousness. Armin just slit his throat and killed him. He cut up his body and he stored it in his freezer. And every time he would eat Burns' body, he would eat it with a glass of wine. And he said that it made him feel more connected to Burn. Six months later, he was charged with manslaughter and he went to prison. It tastes like pork, a bit more harsh. Let's cook his pecker recipe. <laughs> I didn't get any pecker, so today I'm gonna be using ground pork, a great source of pecker. <laughs> oh In honor of Burn, we will be making his pecker recipe. They did it all on camera. So the whole thing, like when they went to trial, him cutting his pecker off, 
was all on camera. I guess the dude like screamed out really loud for like 30 seconds and then he was like chill the rest of the time. It, he said it was like spraying out of him like a literal fountain. And then they sat there together while he cooked up his wee wee. Onion powder, ground mustard, celery seed, parsley flakes, and black pepper. This looks tasty. Yeah. Massage that pecker meat your, with your hands. At least take me out to dinner first. Oh yeah. Now I gotta form it into a sausage because I am making sausage. I got a feeling this is gonna be trash. This does not feel right. Look, if you were gonna sell your pecker, how much could you make off of it? Do I look like I buy peckers? The guy was actually really disappointed that he didn't get to eat more of his wee wee. I guess it like shriveled up into basically like nothing. He was like really upset about that too. I was like, oh no, I didn't get enough of my wee wee to eat. I'm still hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. It's legit sausage. Bon appetit. It smells pretty good. Let's get a little taste test. Mm mm. Ah, ah, ah. Ew. Ew. It's gonna get a one for me. Not good. Jeffrey Dahmer bicep steak. Jeffrey Dahmer killed 17 young men. Many included necrophilia, cannibalism, and the permanent preservation of body parts. Although he was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, schizotypal personality disorder, and a psychotic disorder, Dahmer was found to be legally insane at the time of his trial. I was uh, branching out. That's when the cannibalism started eating of the heart and uh, the arm muscle. It was a way of uh, making me feel that uh, they were a part of me. Could someone like you be stopped? Could you be helped? No, I, I was, I was dead set on, on going with this compulsion. It was the only thing that gave me any, any satisfaction. So let's cook some bicep. Bone in pork shoulder. It's the closest thing to a bicep that I could find. So let's get cooking. How do you cut this open? Whoa, this is crazy. I just put it in the pan. Whoa, that, that was not supposed to happen. Olive oil? In this recipe, it called for whiskey, but I don't have whiskey. I don't drink alcohol. How about we cook you up, little doggy? Stop asking me to cook up the dog. Look at her. She's so god dang nuggety. She's not a chicken nugget. Butter. If this gets cooked up right, like it's gonna look bon appetit. Ew, Ew. what is that? That's disgusting. Is that like fat? Oh god. I do not want to eat this. This looks so gross. I'm actually gonna become vegan after this. This looks nasty. I don't wanna eat it. Do I have to eat it? Yeah, you do. It won't be as bad as you think. It smells bad. I thought it was gonna be like a pork chop or something. Oh God, cause I'm not, I'm not thinking of it like it's a pork chop. Shut up and eat it. I'm thinking of it like it's a person. Oh my god, no. I'm not eating it. Okay, I'm just gonna take a like, tiny little... Like, uh. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't... It's not like horrible. It kind of tastes like carnitas. Mm. <laughs> it's not that bad. That's actually kind of good. It's not that bad. It looks terrible though. It looks absolutely disgusting, yeah. It definitely doesn't taste how it looks. I'm gonna give it a mm, four out of 10. Wasn't my favorite, but it was okay. So that was me testing recipes out of the Cannibal Cookbook. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell button, turn on your post notifications. And if you want to, you can follow me on any of my social medias, at Mackenzie Marie, and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles. Some of that. This is for you, Axie girl.